and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, today is September 8th. We are moving right along. The Thinking Woman, sitting back, thinking this morning, or if someone here is thinking about you. Uh, you could be thinking about a woman. Um, there's something here about thinking about this woman. Let's go ahead. All right. So that just fell on the floor. And Spirit, please show me for September 8th. What messages, what guidance do we have? Wow. We have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, and we have the thinking man. Wow. Bottom of the deck, second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Wow. So I think this woman and this man, thank you, Spirit, the horn just honked. I did. Okay, I'm going to do this as a love reading, okay? And I think I'm just going to go ahead and post this. So I feel like there is a man and a woman here who are thinking of each other. And I feel like this is definitely, um, you know, there's a lot of telepathy between the two of you. We are in the ninth month, okay? We do have the number nine here. So three plus six is nine. The second chakra, so that's about creativity. That's about our sexuality. Um, I also see that same orange in his reading. So definitely delving into your, your creativity. And I feel, I want to go ahead and read the number. Wow, I opened it right to the number 36. Holy crap. So this is about intimacy and creativity. The second chakra vibrates in the energy of the beautiful angel Ariel. She sends a bright orange energy promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with, the, with intimacy. When this card appears upright, it's urging you to get creative. Let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have a more creative approach. This is also a time when the energies of closeness with others and nurturing yourself can flow more freely. You can now open yourself to the emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. So nurture yourself and be ready to receive the affection and camaraderie of the resonant souls around you. So I do feel like, you know, this is bringing two people into union. I think there's a masculine and a feminine have, who have been thinking about each other. Either she's thinking about him, he's thinking about her. But someone here is realizing that this is a very divinely blessed union. Okay. I want to read the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So spirit connections, intuition, and inspiration. The beautiful angel Uriel, also called the fire god, wears a brilliant crystal crown vibrating with a passionate connection to the divine. She brings great power to your seventh energy chakra, which is called the crown chakra, and is located at the top of your head. This card indicates an open and free-flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be a time of great intuition for you and guidance from your higher awareness. So allow yourself to quiet your mind and listen. Now is a great time to get connected. The assistance from spirit is great and whether it's the presence of the ascended master of an un of an ascended master, a powerful angel like Uriel, or just a loving friend or family member in spirit. Their love and willingness to assist is always there. They even open you to the Akashic Records, the storehouse of all information. This connection is open now and you will find that your own spirit and the spirits of those around you will be able to provide the answers you seek and the blessings you desire and deserve. You guys, we are in major manifestation energy and I feel like your guides and angels are guiding the two of you together. I feel like, you know, the two of you guys, uh, I feel like you are speaking through telepathy and I feel like your guides and angels, like I, I almost get like they're, they're doing things to like, turn on a song that reminds them of you or bringing in somebody who has your name or 
having a doppelganger walk by or they see you from afar, okay? So, and I feel like the angels are kind of doing that on purpose to, to bring the two of you guys together or to get this person to stop not only thinking about you, but get them to call you as well, all right? Wow, this is really beautiful. I'm just going to go ahead and I feel really called to do a love reading. I feel like all the rest of the days things have been so serious, but I kind of want to just do a love reading. Uh, I'm going to switch, start switching things up, you know, again, because I, I do like doing love readings every once in a while. So I'm just going to go ahead because it's my channel and I can. <laughs> All right, so love reading. Six of Cups, there it is. Someone from your past, maybe you haven't seen them in quite some time. You know, we are getting ready to go into Mercury retrograde shadow, and I feel like the two of you guys have been thinking a lot about each other. You know, maybe you guys, for some of you, you've known each other since childhood, but for others of you, you felt like little kids around each other, you know, and maybe you spent a lot of time with one another. And I feel like you felt, you know, just really giddy when this person was around, and you're, there was you know, some type of a cutting away, you know, some type of a truth. Spirit, please show me their love life. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Wands. She is showing up as the challenge. So maybe this is another party. Maybe this is someone who got in the way of this really sweet, loving connection. I feel like the two of you guys really gave to each other. You gave a lot to one another. And I feel like now, you know, with Mercury and its uh, retrograde shadow in Libra, which is a place of relationships, you could be very well thinking of each other now. And maybe someone here wanting to bring in an offer and be like, hey, how are you? You know, how have you been? A loving offer. Yep, there it is, the, uh, the high priestess. So a lot of psychic energy between the two of you. Justice, you are dealing with a Libra possibly, sun, moon, or rising. Or like I said, this is the um, Mercury going retrograde into Libra, which brings back uh, past soulmates, you know, past people, okay? It is bringing up the past. And I feel like, you know, there's been a lot of silence between the two of you. I do feel like this queen, uh, there was a, a third party. And I feel like one, I feel like for you, you've just kind of stepped back and kept your mouth shut and, and stayed quiet. You know, maybe you're dealing with somebody who is dealing with someone who is younger than you or maybe younger in maturity. I feel like you're much more mature when it comes down to it. And I feel like... Um, yeah, I, like I said, maturity, bottom of the deck, we have the kids again. Maybe for both of you, maybe you guys have kids. Um, what's on your mind is letting the Five of Swords go. Someone here did walk away, and there was some type of conflict, but I feel like mentally they're just overcoming the contact, uh, the the conflict. And I think that, you know, the separation, because I see the sword there, and I feel like there was a cutting away. Someone here walked away. They, they were like, no, you know, I'm taking back control of my life. That's what the Queen of Wands does. She takes back control of her life, you know. This is where nobody wins in a situation, you know, because it was very painful and that's kind of what was on your mind and you got tired of waiting. Maybe you were waiting for this person to come about or you've been waiting for someone to come about and maybe you needed to cut someone off here and, you know, maybe this isn't, you know, maybe right now this is about a past person who tries to come back in because usually when we're getting ready to go into a divine union with someone else, our past comes back to visit us and that's kind of what I'm getting is the past is coming back to visit and I'm getting goosebumps as I say that spirit and I just I just saw the star and I'm getting a chill through here wow there it is you guys like I said ace of cups I did feel like this is a love reading from the gate I feel like somebody wanting to come in and offer you their cup of love for others of you you know you went through this breakup in the past and I feel like it was to get you to this place the 11 11 your cup runneth over for a lot of you you're dealing with your twin flame here your divine counterpart you know you've got the thinking man the thinking woman here so it's you know this is could be a uh, you know, um, an air sign, like I said, a Libra does not have to be sun, moon, or rising. It could be, an, it could be any sign, really. Spirit, please show me their love life. What messages do they need for their love life? Ace of Wands, the opportunity of a brand new beginning. For some of you, this person is reaching out, extending an olive branch. Hey, how are you? I really miss you. Because they're thinking about the love that the two of you shared. But I feel like, you know, and that's only in some situations. For others of you, this is opportunities of a passionate and loving brand new beginning. Ace, ace, you know, you ace of cups, ace of, of wands, you know, happily ever after. This is fortune, you know, this is victory. This is, 
especially after hard times. Spirit, please show me their love life. Six of Pentacles. Okay. There it is. Ten of Wands and the outcome, the fortune. Fortune after difficulty. The Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck. Oh my God, you guys. The sun. The sun. This is happiness, success. This is the yes card. Yes. Or if you are looking for love, yes, this is it. Uh, it could be a Leo you're dealing with as well, but this is love. This is, you've got the, the sun card and the ace of cups for some of you. Uh, you could very well have a family with this person. Okay. Because at the, at the, at the end of the day, this is a happy home life. I don't care if this is his cousins or his cousin, you know, his brother's kids. You know what I mean? If you're not a childbearing, age or don't want kids. Uh, what I am saying is, you know, you guys are thinking about each other and I feel like this is definitely a soulmate connection. Uh, but the challenge for some of you could be, uh, you know, an ex, okay. Or, an, you know, it's, it has to do with another woman. Um, but I feel like, you know, I want to see why the five of swords, four of pentacles. Yes. Yeah, someone here is not letting you go. Someone here, you walked away and they don't want to let you go. They've never let go of the thought of you. Okay. And they've been doing a lot of thinking about you. And I feel like, you know, uh, they're wanting to know if you're still single. Okay. And I feel like, you know, obviously if you're watching this at this point, you realize this is, this is a singles reading. Okay. <clears throat> and I am telling you that there is a new beginning here. You know, this, this new moon in Virgo that we're in right now is a very optimistic new moon. It is trying to Uranus. So you could very well be finding love. Like all of a sudden, just, you know, you walk out the door and boom, there it is. I, and, and I'm getting goosebumps as I'm saying that. Like my arm hairs are standing straight up. I don't know if you can see that. But I mean, you've got the two aces with the sun here. I mean, this is very, this is lucky. This is lucky. It's not that you haven't worked for it, but I feel like this is, thank you, spirit. Did you hear the horn honk? This is someone who is going to want to invest in you, you know, and I don't feel like this person's going to breadcrumb you. I feel like this is something that can last the test of time. That's going to, you know, go generations. And in your hopes and fears is, you know, that there, you know, you can put down this burden, you know, for some of you, it's like, you're ready to build a home. You want to build a home. And you don't want to have to build it by yourself. It's like, you know, I look at him and he's walking up with all these, you know, logs and stuff to finish building his house. Maybe for some of you, this person has been building a home. They invested in a home. I'm getting that. Yeah, this person wants to, wants to, they want to give to you. They see that you have everything all on your own. And they're worried that maybe you won't talk to them, you know, when they finally want to come out and communicate. Yep, yep, I did. Oh, I said it. I felt like that was a third party, okay? Queen of Wands as the challenge position is clarified by, get this, Queen of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Queen of Cups. This is somebody having to sacrifice one person for the other, you know, maybe sacrificing, maybe this masculine has been dating multiple different people and now they're having to make a choice, you know, they're making a choice and, you know, and for others of you, you know, it's really standing in your power. When I see this many Queens, you know, the challenge could be for some of you, their mother, maybe their mother was the challenge because it can connect to the Empress. Okay. But I feel like for a lot of you, you know, this is about, you know, them having to choose between you, you know, you and someone else. And maybe in the past they chose someone else. If this is someone you already know. For others of you, this is a brand new beginning with somebody that you have never even met before. And this is the masculine energy. And they find you extremely attractive really beautiful. One thing I'm not seeing here though is, I mean, I mean, I do see he, the, where they're going to want to invest, where they're going to want to ask you out to dinner. Okay. Maybe they're going to invest in going out to dinner with you. They're going to ask you out. This person's going to communicate. 
that they want to invest in this relationship. Make sure, you guys, that this is not just a sexual relationship, okay, with the Ace of Wands here. That very well can be a phallic symbol. And sometimes this is the hidden woman, okay? Although I'm not really, like, I am, but I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to, like, I feel like I'm getting two different stories here. One is somebody is dealing with another woman, and the other one is, you know, being mindful that it, this is not just a sexual relationship, okay? Make sure that there is something tangible in it for you. Okay, because when you start off a relationship where it's just about, you know, the sexual component and all you talk about is sex, um, you know, you've left nothing to the imagination and you, this other person doesn't give two shits about even getting to know you at that point. Okay, so you want to hold off on that. Even if you do meet the person, you know, maybe you do have the opportunity to be intimate with this individual, but it's saying, wait, wait. If you want something that this person isn't going to walk away from the relationship, you know, because you can have a sexually based relationship. We all can. But if you want something that's going to last long term, you need to set boundaries with yourself. Okay. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always got. And then you're like, why am I still single? Why do they always walk away from this relationship? It's because you didn't have respect for yourself and wait. Okay, because he's got his pole in his hand and he's waiting for a person who's going to make him wait. All right. So that's one side story that I'm getting. And this new moon, there's the new moon right there. The eight of cups. Walking away. For some of you, this is somebody who is wanting to return. They're wanting to come back. For others of you, this is somebody who is going to be coming on a trip to come and see you. Maybe they live across water by water or you, you know, one of you guys live by water. Okay. But I am seeing a lot of emotion here and, you know, maybe be, be mindful, you know, it, it, we can't control our emotions. I mean, we can fall in love overnight. It's just, you know, some people just do that for us. Make sure though that it, this is something that's going to grow. And I feel like with the sun here, it very well can, especially with the sun in Virgo that is conjunct the moon right now, uh, that is trining over to Uranus. Love is in the air and I'm getting massive goosebumps as I'm saying that. Just, you know, be mindful of the conflict that is playing over and over and over in your mind. The two of you guys are really thinking about one another and I do feel like this is a very divinely blessed and it's like sometimes you just know that you know and how you know is irrelevant. You just know that this is the person that you're supposed to be with and, you know, you you. But again, let the person court you. Let the person take you out to dinner. I don't know about you, but I'm a little old fashioned. Yep, I said it. So for some of you, you don't even know it yet. Okay, the high priestess, you don't even know it yet. But love is coming in, the lovers. And like I said, this is someone you're going to marry. Someone who's going to want to put in the work and somebody who's willing to travel, to, that somebody who's willing to communicate. This is like arrows of love coming at you. You don't even know it yet. And here it comes. And it's like your cup is just going to run over and you're just spilling with emotion. And I'm getting so excited. And it's like, oh my God, I could see myself having a family with this person and you know, this person wants to invest and, you know, this is the single lady card and they want to make sure that you are no longer single. You know, they're worried that somebody's going to take you off the market, that somebody else is going to offer you something. And they, they're, they're worried about this. You know, that, that they're like, I, I don't want to, you know, go through this life alone. I really want this person. I can see myself having a family with this person. Will you hear that engine? You better start your engines, boys, because I'm telling you, you know, I feel like there's going to be choices. And especially for some of you who've left this, this feminine out to dry because you had to choose between you and other people, you better come in acting like a man and not a little boy, I'll tell you what, okay? Because these women are mature, and I'm telling you, 
I feel like for some of you women out there, um, you need to, you know, see yourself as the empress. The empress knows. Like when I see these three, uh, you know, these three, the, it reminds me of all the attributes of the empress. The only thing missing is the queen of pentacles. And then it's the empress, right? And so I feel like, you know, what your challenge is, is you know, coming into something with the queen of pentacles, she's very practical. She's very stable. She's somebody who is about her long-term investments. Okay. And she's not willing to sacrifice herself or sacrifice her morals to go out and just have a one night stand. Okay. She, you know, so I feel like maybe in, in one way I'm seeing where it's like, you know, we need to get the queen of pentacles in here. You know, we have the king of swords here too. You know, and I feel like there's going to be like a, a very analytical approach to this relationship. I feel like the two of you guys are going to meet on a very mind level. Okay. Um, but I feel like the first thing he's going to be very attracted to you. He's going to be attracted to you physically, but make sure that you allow him to realize that there's a lot more depth than the sexual aspects because you're being tested right now, ladies. And when I see the queen of, I'm sorry, when I see the high priestess here, I see a test. You know, and I see a lesson that's going to have to be overcome, especially if you're wanting this 10 of pentacles, you know, I see building a home, building a family. I'm so excited right now. Like I feel this excitement, you know, I see the sun is shining and that's like, it, it's happy. I feel happy. This is awesome. Okay. So what advice do you have spirit for the divine masculine or this love reading finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love right now? Okay, love life right now. All right, spirit. All right, there it is. Yeah, somebody here. So for some of you, I feel like you met this person at work, all right? And there's going to be some type of a reconciliation. There needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation between you and another individual. And I say that because there's so many cups here. We've got the six of cups. You know, the high priestess is, you know, water. She's connected to the moon. There's the moon right there. So tuning into your psychic abilities. I feel like for some of you, you could definitely be dreaming about a reconciliation with this individual. For others of you, I feel like maybe you did meet this person at work, you know, and I feel like, yeah, this person has been worth waiting for. You guys, maybe for some of you, um, you know, if you know who this person is, um, uh, you could have met this person at work or maybe their work got in the way they chose work over you or for some of you, maybe you don't know what you want to do for work right now. So that's why you kind of took a, a step back from this relationship. Well, I feel like whatever that is, you're coming back into union with this other individual. Sorry, you're coming back into un union with this other individual. You know, isn't it funny how you can say right girl or right guy wrong time? Well, that's what I'm seeing here. Wrong, right girl, wrong girl, you know, right guy, wrong time. Okay. Um, and I feel like there's, you know, there's needs to be a conversation about what the two of you want. And I feel like this conversation is going to make you extremely happy. Um, I feel like, you know, the two of you guys starting a business with one another, you know, d combining your creativity. And um, I feel like this man has been really thinking about, you a lot. And I feel like he did leave you in the past for those of you, um, who have, who already know who this individual is, uh, for others of you, you know, you've been, you've been, um, you're bringing this into fruition. You've been manifesting a divine counterpart. And I feel like you're about ready to meet your match if he uh, or she hasn't already shown up. Uh, this person is going to, I feel like the two of you guys are going to stay up late in bed. It's not that you're not going to have passionate moments because I do feel like you are, but I feel like you're going to have a lot of uh, conversation as well. And I do feel <coughs> if this is someone who is coming back from the past, this person needs to open up to you. This person, you know, you can't just sweep things under the rug and pretend that the separation didn't happen. Um, you know, you guys do need to talk about what happened so that you guys can get back on the same page because otherwise there's going to be this underlying mental chatter of like, is this person going to do it again? You know, and you need to set a healthier boundary this time and my nose is starting to itch. So let's go ahead and see what this other party wants to say to you. 
it's been, wow, okay, I'm so tired of sabotaging this connection, okay, for some of you, this, this person did, I can't stand not talking to you, okay, there it is, look at this, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, I can't stand not talking to you, I genuinely feel that's what this masculine and feminine are thinking about as well, we used to have so much conversation, you know, because the thinking, you know, I think air signs is when I look at these cards, is air, you know, and I see, do see the king and queen of air, and I feel like if you do know this person, you guys had really good conversation in the past, okay, and then the conversation went bye-bye, but I do feel like there is going to be some type of conversation that is coming up in the near future, because one person is tired of not going after their heart, there it is. I said it earlier. I know we are twin flames. I know we're twin flames. I, you guys, the king and queen of swords. We've got the thinking woman, thinking man. This is a divine counterpart. Yes, this is your counterpart. Um, any other last messages that they want to say to each other? I know we're twin flames. Will you forgive me? Will you forgive me? Well, and I, I, I see yes. Yes, I do see where, you know, and this isn't going to be for everybody. Get a personal reading, okay, if you, you're questioning. But, um, yes, I can feel you pulling away. Have you moved on, all right? So the Divine Feminine here has moved away, and this, you know, or Divine Masculine, someone has moved away, and I've cried over you. There's been tears shed over this situation, but I definitely, if this is two people who, like I said, who already know each other, um, that's what I'm getting on this portion of it. For everybody else who doesn't know who this divine counterpart is, I feel like someone from the past might try to come back in um, to sabotage this connection, this new connection, because you they feel you are thinking about someone else. They're feeling you moving on, and they're going to try and want to pull you back in, uh, and so they'll breadcrumb you again. So be mindful of the breadcrumbing because it's much better to be single than to have somebody who's not willing to give all their effort and energy. You know, if they're not willing to spend a dime on you, they're not willing to spend their time, their energy, or their efforts on you either, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, I want to just see, you know, if you're not 18, go ahead and click off right now. I'm going to pull some um, sexual magic. This is my, my girlfriend, Melissa. This is her deck that she gifted me. Eight of Wands. Wow. Eight of Wands here. They're feeding each other grapes. That's what they want to do. So, you know, yes, there's a sexual component, but look, they want to, they, they want to, you know, go up this ladder. They want to grow towards one another, you know, so, and I am seeing that flame there. So I do feel like for some of you, I am dealing with twin flames, you know, nurturing each other, nurturing this relationship, you know, whether this is a new relationship and or, or an old relationship that is coming back. Uh, you know, I feel like this masculine is wanting to nurture her. Okay. Uh, he doesn't want to hurt her anymore. Um, you know, if he's already, if you already know who this is, spirit, please show me. Wait, wow, way too many cards. Okay, way too many cards. So, yeah, wanting to get down and dirty. I wouldn't suggest it, you guys. Any, wow, okay. That one landed on the floor. Okay, but yeah, leaving something to the imagination. Two of pentacles. So leaving something to the imagination, you know, she's very seductive, um, but she's trying to make a decision, you know. So uh, am I going to, you know, allow him to do what he's done in the past, I almost feel like, um, I almost see some like witchcraft down here. So I don't know if somebody here is doing spells. If you're doing spells, I will say, knock it off. Okay. Don't be doing spells on this kind of stuff. Uh, that is taboo. And I really would not suggest it. You know, um, if you're just lighting a candle for this individual, your divine counterpart and, you know, being open, uh, then I would say do that. But if you're doing like spell work, I would be very careful with that. Okay. Uh, eight of chalices here. Yeah, because if you are doing some type of naughty spell work, someone here is going to be walking away. See how she's just kind of like pushing away. So keep that in mind. But and then we have the five of chalices. Yeah. Some type of sadness and regret and loss here. So uh, uh, that's a side note for someone who is doing black magic. I wouldn't suggest that for others of you. I feel like, you know, in the past, there was some type of sadness. Maybe the two of you guys shared m many meals. And then again, you know, he wanted you, but he just, he didn't give you what it was that you needed. And he made a choice about someone else because I'm only like, I'm, I'm seeing these as different women. You know, you've got a blonde here <coughs> or a dirty blonde. 
you've got a redhead and you've got a brunette. And the brunette is the overall energy. And there's, you know, sadness that's connected to the brunette. And I feel like he entertained, you know, this. And I feel like there is a walking away. So if you already know who this person is, you know, I, but I do feel like there's temptation for him, you know, at the end of the day. Sorry, guys. Um, so having temperance, you know, temperance is all about alchemy. So it is bringing a relationship to you, alchemy, okay? So also having patience because I feel like everything is working out. Um, at the end of the day, you guys, this is really beautiful energy for those of you looking for a relationship. Yes. For those of you who already know who this is, uh, for some of you, it's a new person. For some of you, it's someone from the past returning. Uh, if they come back during the Mercury retrograde while Mercury is in retrograde, um, it's just to ask you if you're still stupid. Okay. Anyway, you guys, I love you all very much. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. I love you guys all so very much. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a beautiful week.